Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Dan Roy's Barbados Travel Vlogs. I'm going to do a walk to St. John Parish Church today. Right now I'm looking at St. John Cemetery, which is the cemetery for the church. So when the funeral is at the funeral service is at St. John's Parish Church, the cortege proceeds over to this cemetery over here. And the persons are buried here since the cemetery in the churchyard is filled. This is where the cortege proceeds to for the persons to be buried. Let's go. First of all, the left the left turn here, but the cemetery will take you back to St. John Primary School, back to Pot House, back to Bath Beach, Cottonton College, or the Law School, or the parish of St. Philip. The right turn will take you back to Four Roads, Gun Hill, and enter the parish of St. John. I'm now proceeding to West St. John's Church. This is the road where the walk way to the vicarage where the priest lives. That's St. John's Parish Church sits on a cliff overlooking the East Coast. And tear the entire East Coast. The same post here. So St. John is to the eastern end of the island. And as I said before, St. John is the parish where the white Barbadian population originated from. This is where the parish where the white people, the white Barbadians originate from, which we in Barbados refer to as the poor whites or the red legs. This is the car park for St. John Church. Where the hell it takes you by the Clifton Hall via Church View, Newcastle, Martins Bay, and St. John. Or I can even take you back into the parish of St. Joseph with Bathsheba and that part of the island. I've now reached St. John Parish Church. This is the church here, St. John's Church here. And this is the road leading down to Market and um, to Clifton Hall and Church View on the castle. And this sign here says welcome to St. John Parish Church. This classic Gothic church situated on a cliff overlooking the picturesque East Coast is situated is a historic first This classic this classic Gothic church situated Situated on a cliff overlooking the picturesque East Coast is, such, is a historical heritage site that was first used for worship in 1645. In the churchyard, we can view the final resting place of our late Prime Minister, the Honourable David John Howard Thompson, Parliamentary Representative for 23 years. This is the church of Vicarage where the priests live. This is the gift shop. And the church office over here. This is the vicarage where the priest lives. This is the gift shop for St. John Parish Church. And this is the church here. This Sign board says this beautiful church is on the site of the earliest wooden church of 1645. The first stone church was built in 1660 for 110,000 pounds of sugar. It was badly damaged in the hurricane in the 1675 hurricane and rebuilt in 1677. This church was badly damaged in the 1780 hurricane, uh, restored and destroyed in the 1831 hurricane. The present and fourth church was completed in 1836 and the chancel added in 1876. Its pure Gothic design was influenced by Bishop William Hart Coleridge, first Anglican Bishop. 
Vestry Hall above was the meeting place of the parish vestry comprising elected landowners which ran the affairs of this parish until 1959. It is named for church patriots Miss Eustace, Mr. Eustace Gill and Mr. Thorne Gollop. Yes, guys, St. John Parish Church. I'm going to take you guys inside of the church. And this church is a property of the Barbados National Trust and it is a building of historic and architectural interest. So bear that in mind. And tourists come here to visit every day. First of all, this is where the bell free is, the bell free where the church is, where the bell for the church is. And St. John's Parish Church, first erected in 1645, destroyed by fire and rebuilt 1676, destroyed by the hurricane and dedicated 1836. So this is inside of the church now. This gothic, lovely gothic church situated. This is the altar, and this is the lovely stained glass windows. And this is the choir stall, the choir seats. And this is the mahogany pulpit, which was made from three different types of wood. You can see the pipes for the organ upstairs in the gallery. And this is the organ console with the music, with the keyboard and so on there. So the song is transmitted electronically to the pipes. So this is the organ here. St. John Parish Church, and this is the mahogany pulpit. And this is the pipes for the organ. So the pipes is situated in the Western Gallery. And this is the baptismal font. Church door here. And this is the binoculars that you can look over and get this distant view of the East Coast. And we can have a magnificent view of the East Coast, looking down to Church View in St. John. This is just below St. John Parish Church and all Clifton Hall. And we can see the East Coast. We can see Martins Bay. So we are looking northeasterly now towards Martins Bay, Glen Burnie, Foster Hall, Tent Bay, Bathsheba, Soup Bowl, Catawash, all the Chalky Mount and Barclay Spa Beach, and all to Morgan Lewis, and all to Bosco Bell in St. Peter and Cherry Tree Hill. And we can see all to Pico Tenerife to the north. A view of St. John's Church again. Now heading into the churchyard. This is St. John Parish Church. If it's lovely gothic windows and the bell freeze up in here. And the sign says to Sundial and the Paralogos Square. The gothic structure, the lovely gothic structure. So as I said before, we don't really bury the people in here anymore. 
the people mostly bury on the cemetery in the cemetery which is to the opposite side of the road and this is the mayor's tomb most likely family relatives of mine because the mayor's is from saint john and saint joseph are related to me so this is the mayor's tomb here gladys joseph briggs mayor's this is gladys mayor's tomb here joseph briggs mayor's tomb georginia finlayson mayor's wife of jb mayor's a native of glasgow in scotland and rachel mayor's daughter of jb mayor's this is the estwick tomb here many more And this is a map showing a list of all the tombs in the churchyard. And it is sponsored by the Tourism Development Corporation. So the cliff, the Haynes graves, the tombs of the Carters, tomb of the Taylors, the Sundial, the Telescope, the tomb of the Prime Minister, David Thompson, the cliff. The Silly Sisters, Dr. Hart Tomb, the Standing by the Silly Tomb, Ferdinando Paralogas, Ferdinando Paralogas, the grave of Iris Banotti, who was the owner of Zamina Gardens, the founder of it, the Patriots Grave, and the Miller Austin, El Barrow, Eustace, and Tangle Graves. First of all, let's go and take another look. So, we'll take another look at the East Coast. Like I don't find the East Coast again. The rugged east coast in the Scotland district, which is northeasterly, the northeasterly part of the east coast, looking towards the parishes of St. Andrew and St. Joseph and St. John with Martin's Bay. The historic St. John Parish Church. Some more tombs. There are also tombs inside the church as well. Forgot to mention that. When I go back in the church and do my other video, I will show you guys that one. So this is a tourist attraction here in Barbados. Another look at the East Coast. This is the Carter Tomb. The last person to be buried in this grave this cemetery was the Prime Minister David Thompson, who served two years in office. Like another church view again, and the south and the northeastern coastline. And this is the Taylor tomb, in memory of, the, of Ronald Vernon Taylor, born September 29th, 1930, and then the 17th of June, 1999, William H. Lewis and Ronald and Roland C. Taylor, 1838, and Muriel Louisa Taylor, 1908 to 2005, and Henry Vernon Taylor, 1898 to 1965. So this is the Taylor tomb, and this is the sundial here and looking southeastern you know towards Bath Beach, Concept Beach, Fortescue, this is in St. Philip and we can see all of the potholes in St. John and all down to you can see all across the Skeets Bay and the Ragged Point Lighthouse which is in St. Philip and Concept Bay and so on which is all in St. Concept Bay is a fishing village which is in St. John 
but be that as in close part as in Mexico, as in Philip. So this is South East now, where we can see all of the college savannah and forest queue and tree houses park and the queen in St. Philip. And the little district below here, where these houses are, is Pot House St. John. So this is the same parish that you will come across, Codrington College. So we're looking to St. John Parish Church again. And this is my final stop here in the church. Here, before I close the video, the grave of David Thompson, David John Howard Thompson, Queen's Council Member of Parliament, born the 25th of December 1961 and the 23rd of October 2010, which was my birthday. I was born on the 23rd of October 1993, so that would be my birthday when he died. He was the beloved husband of Mara, father of Misha, Oya, and Osa Marie, adopted father of Dario, Prime Minister of Barbados from 2008 to 2010. I will end my video here. For now, thanks for watching. We can back at the Vicarage again with the priest lives. Thanks for watching and have a blessed. And a wonderful evening.